My spice drawer is in desperate need of a refresh. The labels I had created previously are starting to curl at the edges. I'm trying something new with these DIY magnetic labels. They're super cute and customizable. Let's get started. First off, gather all your supplies. This is a very simple project with just a few items. I picked up this adhesive magnet roll at the craft store which cost about $15. On hand, I already had a few different craft punches to try out for the magnetic labels. I'm a bit of a glass jar hoarder. I don't mind admitting this because I reuse them often and they bring me joy. So you can see that I have many different metal jar lids to test this out on. Here are a few spice jars that I'm going to upgrade. You can see that the labels are curling or peeling off or they have yellowed with age. Start off by cutting the magnetic sheets. This is optional, but I'm using my crafting paper cutter. I find this to be the easiest and the fastest way to create exact magnetic strips to the size that I need. Then grabbing my circle punches, I'm threading the magnetic strips through to create the labels. I was able to comfortably get about seven circle punches per magnetic strip. Here's the scalloped circle punch. It was a bit harder to punch out, but it's worth it because I really like the look of it. I'm using a label template I already created and printing it on regular printer paper. Then using the same size circle punches, I cut out the labels to the right size. This part is particularly satisfying, especially when I was able to get the circle to line up perfectly. It's all about the little things. Now on to the fun part, carefully remove the adhesive backing on the magnets and then add the pre-cut circle labels. These ball spice jars have metal lids so the magnetic labels perfectly adhere to them. If you have a lot of spices, this can get a little bit tedious so I suggest you turn on a podcast or watch your favorite show. After a while, I had trouble getting the adhesive off the magnets, so I started to use a weeding tool from Cricut that worked really well. After pairing up all the magnets to the labels, I transferred them to the existing jars, and as you can see, they look so good. Okay, I really love how these turned out. You can easily move them around with a little push, otherwise the magnet sticks very well despite how thin the magnets are. Punching out the scallop labels was a tiny bit more challenging, but I love how these look, so I don't mind the extra work. I've got a variety of metal jar lids to show you how this works. Here's the final look in my cabinets. The possibilities of creating these labels are endless and I'm thrilled with how they turned out. If you want the free printable labels to create your very own, head to the video's description for the link.